Welcome to coverage of the 2020 Iconic Cup from RC Empire and what a fantastic day it was. And yes, this year we did compete in the stock Tamiya class with our Tamiya TT01 race build and actually we did pretty well and had an absolute blast. But here we are, some of the fantastic rating action from the day. And hopefully after watching this you will all want to pick up the race car, get to the track and get racing with your local clubs. As you can see, the sun was shining, the track was warming up and it was turning out to be a great day. As always, with quite a few drivers turning out to race with some familiar and new faces. Quickly, if you do want to get racing next year at one of the iconic events, we've got all the information down below so do go check it out and follow the action from the iconic team. I will say, for anyone who's hesitant about coming and signing up to such a big event, the first year I found out about the iconic cup, actually I thought you had to be a total pro, know exactly what you're doing and not be an amateur getting in everyone's way on the track. But that was not the case at all. And even if you haven't been racing for that long at all, sign up and get racing. Because everyone here at the event was super helpful, welcoming, full of information, and you will have a brilliant time. Now unlike previous years where this has been a two day event, as you saw from our coverage of the 2019 event, where you will normally have a practice day on the Saturday to get set up, get your cars dialed in and just chill out, ready to wake up fresh the next day for a full on day of racing. This year, thanks to Covid, this was a one day only event with the main race day being held on Sunday. And luckily it wasn't half as windy as last year where gazebos were getting torn down and the cars were getting blown off their racing lines. So the day consisted of seven heats with four rounds of qualifying each, where the racers fought for points and grid position throughout the day, which ultimately led on to nine rounds of top racing in the finals. And those are exactly what we are gonna show you in this episode. Quickly, we will also show you some of the qualifying action in the next episode, so do watch out for that because there were some fantastic battles going out on track. Now what I absolutely love about the Iconic Cup is the range of classes catered for and that extends to the Iconic Revival which is on a whole new level and something I am still waiting to race in and cannot wait for next year. But the classes for the finals today will be the M Chassis class, an A and a B final, Stock 4 wheel drive class, an A and a B final, the GT class, Formula 1 class, stock front wheel drive class, super stock four wheel drive class and an open TC touring car pre-2000 finals, making for a brilliant day of racing. And if you do want to skip to one of these races in particular, the race times are down below in the description. And finally, please do head over and sign up to our new website at www.rcempire.co.uk because it is going to be huge and something which will benefit every aspect of the hobby community and we'd love to have you all on board to enjoy and make the most of the resources there. So please do head over, sign up and that will be launching very soon so do keep an eye out. But that's it, with the racing lines laid, the Morning. track warm and the races fueled up, let's hit the track and trade some paint for the 2020 Iconic Cup Finals. And you're all away. Just Paul man getting the jump on everyone else and out in front. With a Suzuki Swift from the Datsun 510. Off oh, for the bars. Oh, we got in third. Oh, so we've got a battle between the Mini and the Honda Ballard CRX. Yeah. Yeah. Think it was Ballard. Definitely a CRX. And then we've got the Salita at the back. 
not a good girl. Don't. But it is. Adam, we've got the jump out there. It's Adam from Michael, Matthew, and Martin. That's Martin there. Then we've got Hugh, Martin, Mike, and Paul. And Paul's the one that he's having his evening services of a marshal. So we've got the mini countryman out in front, and the resplendent in the fluorescent monster Valentino Rossi tribute from the silver and yellow RS200 of Michael Lee. And then we've got another RS200, another pair of RS, no, sorry, three RS200. We've got the red one, the turquoise one, and the yellow one. So that's our uh, third, fourth, and fifth. That's an RS200, getting ahead of the yellow RS200, getting ahead of the turquoise one, but the red pit one just going to bend it, coming onto the straight here. I heard the crashing of lead from, so that's going to shut off the order of it. So it's still Adam from Michael, but now it's now Martin F from Hugh, Martin B, Matthew, Mike and Paul. Two minutes is two, one, three, five, four, seven, eight, six. So it's Adam out in front with a 1.7 second lead over Michael. Uh, with Hugh in third, who's 10 seconds back. So he's doing three seconds up on Matthew. There's Martin F, Martin B, Mike, and Paul. I'm going to have more crossing of Lexington. Go at the top there. That was Paul again. Not having a fun, fun time in this one. Don't forget, after the second finals, we'll have our rewards, awards, ceremony. We you get your plaque and your reward of some nice sweeties. <laughs> so coming onto the show is the mini countryman of Adam followed by the yellow and silver RS-200 of Michael. Oh, there's all a spin there for Michael. Let's go and drop me further back now, yep. Yeah, it cost him a couple of seconds, that all uh, pirouetting. As our leader goes into the sweeper at the end of the straight, then pass on the back markers, round the hairpin, around the WLRC side, into twiddly bit, pass through the 180 in front of race control, that's our leader. There's our second place car, the yellow and silver RS200, just going past the scoreboard, coming from the back markers. As our leader approaches the blue beetle, the moves up nice and wide, gives him the space. <laughs> The next on the countryman's agenda will be the Honda Civic Turbo. Dun, dun, dun. Probably to be able to do a little more turbo on it. So it's Adam, Michael, Hugh, Matthew, Martin, Martin, Mike and Paul. The yellow one. And now has the leader going past him. So, uh, Martin D, you're finished. Michael D, you're finished. Four. Matthew, you're finished. Eight. Mike, you're finished. Six. Four, finished. Three. Q, finished. 
I don't think it's just one for other Martins. Fine. Right. Someone didn't get the message about being on the right colours. <laughs>
Robin is feeling the second. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hang it all the way. So some of you sound a little bit less happy than others. But it's Marcus who's got the all shot and just cleared off. 17.64 for his opening lap. From Andy who had a 20.2. Big gap to open up on the first lap alone. Uh, Mike Penfold in third, Adrian four, Tom five, Alistair six, Liam seven, and Peter eight. Oh, it looks like someone's already got in retirement here. Yeah, it always must have been the car, it didn't sound very happy. So I'm guessing that must be Alistair as he's dropped to the bottom of the timing charts. Oh, I'll definitely wasn't sounding sound very happy at all there. So I'll just come up to the one minute mark. Uh, Marcus out in front by some four seconds over Andy. Uh, and then it's Mike, Tom, Peter, Adrian and Liam. Our leader, just going past the scoreboard now. Just going the down this road and across the line. So that's our leader who's now eked up his lead over Andy, who's now just crossing the line now. Let's see, One, two, just over six three, seconds four, now. Five, six, eight, seven. So we've got plenty of space for Marcus in case of any little having to work his way through some slower traffic. He's just coming up on the three red cars. The two Ferraris and the NSX, so that's a red car in front of you, a red car in front of that, and another red car in front of that for you, Marcus. So, at the moment, is it any car you colour you like as long as it's red? That's one, so that's our leader at the end of the stroke, and looking across the first two, across three, yes, he's passed all three of them now. Oh, and now we're going to score it up, box itself on its roof. It's going to face the question of, question of Marshall, it's going to leave Andy the chance of catching up, yes, and we've got a change of lead now. That little error by Marcus, putting us on roof, parking in the area, first away from any marshals, and so we've got a change of lead. After we just got past all those red cars and all. That's Andy from Marcus, Marcus is giving me work, working Andy over, oh, yeah, dive for the inside there, got a little butt bump, backed off. Want to make a clean move, that's our leaders at the end of the straight, and inside the hairpin. That was sort of moving out of the way, nicely out of the way. And, and, oops, and he, Marcus tagged the back of him, but did the gentlemanly thing and waited. As he sort of took the dive in on the inside there. And so they must often have given up the battle for the moment as well, because he's pulled off. Maybe he just wanted to sit and watch the battle up front there between Andy and Marcus. Oh, battle down the street there, uh, uh, yeah, and Marcus and Chisholm managed to get the battle of, the battle of Andy there, so that's first and second. The running order at four, As we approach the four minutes, there's a minute left one, to go. Two, three, four, six, eight, five, Andy can keep seven. the pressure on Marcus. See if Marcus makes another mistake, all over the hop over the curve there by Andy, and again. Trying to keep it, all the pressure on Marcus, not letting him get away. As we prefer for opening that for Andy, making it a bit difficult for himself. But there we go, here comes our leaders, just going past the scoreboard now. Two oh, deep. yeah. That was Andy catching the D, getting a bit of airborne time. Hmm. <laughs> Fortunately, he didn't park it in the barrier. So that is our first, and he's going to be our third place man, second place man. Uh, so it's Tom running in third, that will be one of the red cars, that will be the Ferrari. 
with Mr. Panfold just behind him. So that will be the interim battle. And here it is, the battle for third on the run to the line now. Two red cars are third and fourth just four. finishing. That's Marcus finishing. Andy finish. Two. So we just went for Adrian and Liam. Six. Eight. Red and you You didn't have to wait for him, Norman. <laughs> oh, something happened there at the start there. We have just got the McLaren out in front. Whee! Oh, look, James and the McLaren out front. So that's going to be one of the pictures. Yeah, it's Jason out in front from Luke. Yeah, there's our battle. Oh, we've got a bit of crash. Crashing here. Someone upside down going and sweep at the end of the straight there. And we've got another Marlboro Coke paint scheme in third. So we've got first and second onto the straight now. So it's Jason and Luke. Uh, just 1300 of a second between them at the line. So this can be the battle. In third is David Tech. And in fourth is Tom with the red ball. So here comes first and second into the sweeper now. They're closing up onto the red Ferrari. The first of the red Ferraris. Now there's been a change of lead there because Luke's now in front from Jason. Clear. As Luke goes far from the other Ferrari and he's now closing up on the Williams. Well, he's got, so it's now Luke from David. Oh, sorry, it's Luke from Jason from David with Tom in fourth. So a little bit of shuffle of the qualifying order, but we've now got Tom busy beating up on David. Yeah, he's just made his way past him, so he finally keeps it clean. That'll be third on the line. Yep, there's that Tom up to third. See what he can do about catching up to second place. Uh, uh, but that's like some five seconds. There's quite a bit of time to make up to get to second. Let's see what he can do about it. So that's our third place car, just approaching the end of the straight there. And our Ludo going onto the straight. Going round the hairpin, pass it will be the sign, that's our leader. Second place, yeah, that, the place is now going past the WLRC sign. Uh, third place approaches the hairpin at the end of the straight. Yeah, Tom do the other time round. Yeah, Tom was inching in on Jason. Let's see what he does this time round. Oh, slow that for oh, do a change of position there. So it's now Michael Freeball into third from Tom in fourth. So Tom's managed to drop a spot there. So that is the black Salvo with a white front wing. That is now running in our third place car. As our second place car goes over the line. And our leader is in front of race control. And approaching the uh, fourth place car of top. So Tom. Luke got past the Ferrari, he's now just had to let um, Luke past. So he just needs to catch uh, uh, swing out the hooks and catch on and get the toe round from Luke. Get the toe rope out, oh uh, dear, I didn't get the toe rope out quickly now. As uh, so Luke's uh, quickly approaching the third place car of Michael Freel. Freel. The running order at four minutes is one, three, five, two, so four. Four mark, minutes to go. Eight. That's Luke. So Luke's next target will be the uh, Ferrari and the McLaren just at the end of the street there. So that's our leader, just going past the WLRC sign, approaching the McLaren and the Ferrari. There's 30 seconds left to go. 
Just go and run just a little bit of a curve up, runs it wide. So then get the we've also got the fast speed Ferrari, so that's in good bit of clear space. So the only car in front of you at the moment is the second placed uh Marlboro McLaren. MP twenty three B twenty six. Anyway, the last five seconds. So, Nicky, you are finished. Everyone else, you finished as you cross the line. Finishing as you cross the line. Three, one. Okay, you're away, apart from James, who obviously had an issue. A bit of a crash at the first corner there. And someone pointing the wrong way. Looking to keep him tail happy. So, it looks like it'll be Neil jumping out to clear lead. See how much of a lead it is. Oh, that's a three second lead on the opening lap, so he's doing a bit of a Marcus here and just running away with the start. So he just needs to not throw it at the scenery now. Neil, Alex, Kevin, Matthew, Mike and James. That's our leader over the line. Now we're waiting for the second place man. Uh, we've got another Vauxhall versus four battle of mm. Alex and Kevin. Then it'll be Matthew with another Vauxhall. Uh, now the Ford into second, ahead of the two Vauxhalls. There's a lot of problem car with a problem here. Roll to a halt. I don't need anyone to throw in that scenery. Looks like the Tom's going at uh, uh, like number seven next. Looks like that'll be Mike's getting rescued there. This big ground to a halt. So, so his, his, his race is done. Uh, coming up to the two minute mark, so it's Neil out in front with a six and a half second lead over Kevin. The Neil Hill with a 1.28 second lead yeah. over Matthew. One, three, two, with five, Alex 1.4 back four, in four. Matthew there, so that's our second place back in the infield. And there's the quick flip one Deo, head of the XKS Mortal. Classic Ford vs. GM battle. Four, 
Oh, you gotta go for the WLC sign. Good cover to you, your section now, around the 180. Cover from Young Wasp behind down again. You just run to the go. Thank you very much. Run through, run the D, down the straight. The running power will go across the line. Minutes in one, two, three, five. We catch second place before the Asian race is over. Uh, second place, going to the chicane, round the D, onto the straight. We've got 45 seconds to hold off the leader. So I'm keeping it on the impact of not being last this time round. Yeah, so let me see. What are you taking that? Yeah, might do. Yeah, a bit of slow on there, but Adam will get through some back markers. We've got a watch with some clear air out in front of himself. Yeah, so I'm going to last lap for Mike and Adam now. And finish the drive, lap to your own drivers. Finish the engine, cross the line. The course is finished. Three. Now, Oh, I'm going to get an SPPT out there. Five, two, one. <laughs> and you're all the way. So Stuart has made the best start. For Mike. Oh dear. Oh, I think that's going to be uh, John done for with having lost his rear wing. Yeah, be very careful with that there, John. <laughs> careful into the sweeper. So, oh, we have a little bit of change there. So, Stuart out in front. From Mickey Taylor for White Paintball. Oh, yes. Last time round it was uh, Mike from Stewart, very close affair. Now we'll have to see what happens this time round. We had a little moment there, so I put Mike into second. So he's on four seconds down on Stuart, he's going to be making his way through the traffic. Oh, we've got some leaving already, not hanging around, obviously he doesn't have anything to collect at the end of the day. So this is Stuart out in front from Mike by five and a half seconds from Nikki, then Michael, Tom and John. So that's second and third, just coming through the chain onto the straight now. The running order has two minutes is one, two, five, six, four, three. So oh, yeah, someone just gonna send it there. One way of getting out of the second place battle. So we've got second, third, ooh. Third getting a bit leery there. So that's Nicky getting a bit leery, so it's giving Mike a little bit of a lead there. So that's Stuart, sixth lead over Michael in turn, that's three second lead over Nicky. Then that's Michael, Tom and John. Oh, so we're going to pop his car on the side there. Oh, there he is, John. Uh, yeah. Now Michael running in third ahead of Mickey, so it's now the third place battle there. Maybe they want to see on the track. Oh dear, you can fall just going over the... Oh, 